Welcome to my closet. This is very off point, but my legs have been obliterated by Natasha Oshien's workout. I did legs the other day, and I swear I wasn't even doing anything hard. And I literally cannot walk. I'm like an old lady. So if at any point in this video, I'm hobbling around, that is why. Today is a day that I have been excited about and dreading for ages now. If you're new, I moved from England to Vancouver this year. Wait, last year, because it's 2023 now. I moved into this apartment in June, 2023. 2022 my mind has lost all sense of time and space and i have a glorious walk-in closet that i have done nothing to it's in need of serious reorganization and i've also been trying to rebuild my wardrobe because essentially i moved with two suitcases from the uk which is not enough clothes essentially this video is reorganizing getting the closet together and building my dream wardrobe so let's get started I'm gonna start with a tour because I think you need to see the state that it is but also I'm kind of don't want to expose myself like this but I think I freaking have to. This section on the top is actually my boyfriend's section and the rest is mine. I'm not an absolute demon, demon monster girlfriend. My boyfriend does have a whole entire wardrobe in the other room which he uses so I feel like honestly he has more space than me but I don't know. Anyway he's got this section which I'm not gonna to touch because that's for him to sort. Okay straight ahead I have at the moment coats here. Then I'm underneath i have handbags and like random nonsense then on the floor i have shoes and just like a bag of nonsense then on this side i just haven't hung anything up it's literally all here this drawer won't open because it's like my underwear you don't need to see that but then this is just off where i haven't organized it you get the picture so you can see that there's a, a serious issue that I need to address. The first step is I need to get some organizational things. Spoiler, I have done this already, so I'm gonna insert the footage now. I'm looking for something like these to go in my drawers. I think this will be good. Then I can organize like my socks, my pants, my bras, you know? This is an option, but I kind of want the ones where you can stack them on top of each other like up way. But maybe these. It is so easy to get distracted in Ikea, I swear. We are coming in for two specific things and we're just getting distracted by everything. This is what I was looking for. This one, not that one, just this gray thing. All done, went in for two items, came out with $130 worth of stuff. This is what always happens in Ikea. Yeah, like, oh, actually I need that. I need that too. Oh, that is good. I need that, 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 I need that. Before you know it, you're $130 down. So I wanna create my dream wardrobe. However, I would like to do this at a reasonable cost. So I figured I'm gonna go thrifting today. I have never in my life been thrifting, but we're gonna give it a go. I've arrived at the thrifting store. It's called Valley Village, and apparently it's meant to be good because a lot of rich people live around here. So I'm hoping I can find some like designer products at cheap prices. That is extremely optimistic. Basically what I'm looking for is I don't know, I'm looking for basics, but I'm also looking for just those snazzy pieces that make basics look elevated. That is the plan. The thrift store was honestly so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. There were racks upon racks upon racks of things to look at, which was kind of overwhelming. I started with the jumpers. Because it's the wintry season, I really needed some basic jumpers. I found this cute one, and honestly, I have a story for it later, so keep watching to hear what happened. I feel like at the beginning, I was just picking up everything and being like, oh, maybe I'll use this, or maybe I'll use that, maybe I'll use this. But I didn't want to get into the situation where I basically bought everything in the freaking store because it's not going to fit in my wardrobe. Is this the way to go? Yeah, that goes with you. I'm putting stuff in and then I'll decide. My boyfriend picked up this top and he thought it was nice. I don't understand what he's thinking because normally he has good style, but <laughs> that was a definite no. I'm kind of overwhelmed at this point in time. 
There's so much to look through. I then went and looked at all the gilets because at the moment I'm really into like sleeveless things and then wearing a long sleeve kind of layer underneath. I first of all picked up this fluffy one, but then I found this other one which was so freaking cool. I've never seen anything like it. The fur, the rhinestones, it was just doing something. We're upgrading. <laughs> Thank God for that. Did you give up? For some reason I really like this bag. It's like nothing I've ever picked up before in my entire life, but it was kind of cool. I explain a bit more about this bag later in the video as well. I looked at all the belts because I really wanted a belt, but I just couldn't find any. We're trying to narrow everything down now. After I'd got all my potentials, I ended up lining them up, basically going through every single item and saying, do I really want it? Do I really need it? I feel like it just helps to organize your thoughts on what's actually good. I feel like there's a definite theme of black cream and gray going on here. <laughs> House decorations. Oh my goodness sake. <laughs> It's basically a few days later after I went thrifting because I had to wash all the clothes, okay? I just feel like when you go thrifting, you need to wash the freaking clothes. Shall we do a little haul? First up, I just got a plain white shirt. This is like $10 and it's from this brand called Scotch and Soda and I feel like that's an expensive brand or like not a cheap brand anyway. I got this skirt and I don't know if it's a bit rogue. Basically, I haven't tried any of this stuff on. I know I should, but I just kind of felt creeped out trying on the clothing in the shop. I don't know where it's been. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so weird. Well, anyway, I didn't try it on, I just kind of gambled. So, this skirt, I feel like this looks really nice, but also I'm kind of scared that it's too tiny for me. But how cute is it? Can you just see this, the material? It's kind of like a Chanel vibe, but it was obviously not Chanel prices. This was $5. Actually, I can't remember exactly how much they are, but it was roughly $5. Okay, this I'm very excited about, but also I had a bit of a drama yesterday because you know how I said I washed them all? It kind of shrunk. It was already quite small. Look how pretty it is. Oh my God, it's kind of like old granny vibes, but I'm, I'm here for it. It's got this flower detailing and then on the sleeves it's got these little like bobbles tell me this is not the freaking cutest thing you've ever seen in your freaking life okay but i did shrink it yesterday can i just say yesterday this was the size of a child's jumper and i had to stretch it out me and my boyfriend were here like Rah! while it was wet trying to re-stretch it out into a semblance of a shape i actually think that we've done a pretty good job and that is still wearable and i think it was more or less this size Watch when I watched the 15 video back and it was like so much bigger. But anyway, this is my favorite piece. So I was actually really sad when it came out of the wash and I'm so shrunk. Also, because it said, I didn't read the label and it said hand wash. Hand wash. What, like, what would you want to put hand wash up in the washing machine? Nothing happens. But anyway, that one shrunk. Okay, this is just a plain grey jumper. It's not actually that plain because it's velvety. So it's kind of velvety and I thought this was the nicest thing. Can you imagine this with like a pair of black jeans? I got this black skirt which is pleated and I just thought this would be really nice for work, honestly. Or just like anything, like a nice... Why did I do that? I was trying to like zip it up and now I'd like zip to string into it. And now it won't unzip! Why did I do that? Oh, I fixed it, I fixed it, I fixed it. Hey, jeez Louise. This little skirty. Boop, 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 boop. I thought this was nice. It was also $5. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much this was. I think this is a bit more pricey. I think this was like $15. Still pretty darn good. Story about this next piece. Okay, basically I saw this jumper in Abercrombie and Fitch, right? And it was in the sale. And I was like, oh, I kind of like it, but do I need it? And so then I walked away. Then as soon as I walked away, I was like, I'm gonna go and show my boyfriend, get him and then come and show him. But I should have picked it up because as soon as I turned away, some lady picked it up. And then I was hanging around the shop for ages trying to see if she was actually gonna buy it or she was gonna put it back. And she was trying on and walking around the shop. I followed her from the whole freaking shop to see if she was gonna buy it. And then she ended up buying it. I was literally stalking her to see if she'd buy it. And then I found it in the thrifting shop. And I swear it was meant to be because this was only $25. And I swear that it was more expensive in Abercrombie. So the universe collided. It's just like a fluffy sheepskin gilet. How nice. This thing is very cute. It's kind of, it's a velvety dress with these little strings and I feel like you can tie them up. 
Honestly, I don't know if it's going to be too short for me because I'm quite long, so I'm unsure how to style it yet. But this was ten dollars. I don't think like you can go wrong. Did I show you the velvetiness? Velveteen rabbit. What is that? What is velveteen rabbit? I don't know. I swear that I have something wrong with me. Next up, this one I wasn't entirely sure about, but I have a vision. So I really, really like the neck on it. Can you see this kind of like teddy neck? I'm thinking I could wear it like this. I think I would actually like it, which is the top anyway, it's a dress. And I'm thinking I can put like a belt with it here, a black belt, and it would look cool. That was slightly more expensive. I think that was about 17 or 18 dollars. This dress was brand freaking new. It had its original tags on, so no one had ever worn it. And I absolutely love like a ribbed, long sleeved jumper or dress. I have one like this similar in brown and I wear it all the time. So I'm really pleased with this one. And it has a little cheeky slit here as well. These two things I need to get dry cleaned because I don't feel like they can go in the washing machine slash. This jacket, my boyfriend found, it's suede on the outside. Stoneflies is doing it justice. Suede on the outside and then furry in the middle. Wait, can you see? Here. And then suede on the outside. He was, he really liked this and I wasn't really sure. Partly because I just didn't want to have to fast with dry cleaning it and I knew I'd need to dry clean it if I got it. But I do think it is pretty cool to be fair. Why is it so difficult to see what these look like in the video? It's a little waistcoat thing. It's got like a furry trim and then these little rhinestone-y things there. I'm not really doing it justice and I don't want to put it on because I haven't cleaned it. But can you get the vision? I'll try and take a photo because I feel like a photo will make you'll be able to see it better. This last thing was so unnecessary because I don't need a bag. However, I thought it was pretty snazzy. Now it doesn't look like much, but the quality is sort of like a crocheted bag. Well, it is a crocheted bag, right? But then it's got leather around the outside, this leather strap. But it looked like really good quality when I saw it on the shelf. It's still lined and everything, even though it's crocheted and it's really, really thick. Anyhow, I saw it in the shop and I thought, this looks like very good quality. And I've never heard of this brand before, The Sack, Elliot Luca, right? So then I Googled it and the bags were like $300. And this was going for $25. Dollars, twenty-five dollars, and they're originally three hundred, and it's in immaculate condition. Like someone's not even used this ever. I swear, it looks brand spanking new. I couldn't pass it up because I actually thought that is pretty darn cool. That was the last item. Oh, this wasn't the best idea. Next step, cleaning. This nozzle is very handy for getting in the little cracks and crinnies. Crinnies? What? What word am I trying to say? Nooks! <laughs> Crooks and crannies. All the nooks and crannies that you can't get to with the bigger one, you can use this. Stick them up! <gasps> Everything is now clean. I haven't taken out my coats yet because I don't really have anywhere to put them and I don't really want to put them like on my bed. So they're staying there for now. I feel like maybe I should have some lunch, but then also I feel like if I have lunch, I'm going to get the post lunch lull. So maybe I should just power through. I might do my shoes because at the moment my shoes are blocking the door so if i can do that that'll be helpful excuse all the mess behind me now as you would have seen from my ikea trip i bought these shoe stands which i'm out of breath these are going to organize my shoes and i got eight of them these are the skull storm skull storm 
there were cheaper ones, but they actually didn't have them in the store. So we ha I had to get these that were slightly more expensive, but they look a bit nicer. Honestly, I don't actually know. How do you slot them together? As if there's an instruction manual for this. It just kind of looks like you hook it together. No, that's not right. Maybe I should actually read them. Oh, yes. and thought that perhaps I should have tested one out in the position before I undid them all because I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. Like I'm confused, you put one shoe here and then another shoe here. I think I have one shoe slot spare, but then another shoe is the one that I wear more regularly by the front door. So I've kind of like left these two. So basically it means that I can buy two more pairs of shoes, right? I'm sorry, but what is that? What even is this? So I got these baskets and the plan is to put them underneath the coach. You know, there's like a little shelf. I don't really know what else to use that shelf for because before I had bags there but they kind of looked a bit messy. I don't really know how was best to organise them. But I got these boxes from Amazon. They're Decomomo. I just colour coded my jacket. Now, can I teach you a trick that I have learnt from working in retail for approximately like two months i'm not an expert but anyway one thing i have learned right so if i did this this is how i had it before can you see that i'm like okay because i want to leave room for more stuff however this is a top tip and that is spacing space these evenly can you see how spacing this evenly makes it look a lot better there you go i'm extremely upset by the lighting in the cupboard because it's just so bad I bought 10 million hangers from, I just got these from HomeSense. They're just the velvet ones because basically I wanted to have matching coat hangers. I think matching coat hangers makes everything look more put together and 10 times more elevated and sophisticated. And that is what I'm going for in life. If you can't get your coat hanger through the neck because the neck's too small, go from the bottom. Because I feel like people just stretch the neck and it's unnecessary because you can just pop it up through the bottom and it's perfect. I'm gonna start off with my drawers next. I did get these from Scub. Wait, not from Scub. <laughs> from Ikea as well. But I did want to get the better quality ones that are slightly more expensive, but they didn't have them in store. So, I've gone with these ones instead. Basically, I wanted these to organize like my underwear and my socks and my bras. So, I don't really want to show you what this looks like, but I'll show you what it looks like in the drawer, but I'm not actually going to show you my underwear. Oh, cool. So, it's just flat pack. Then you have it like this. And then you just zip it up. This is what it looks like. They don't exactly like fit into the drawer because there's this big gap here. And I can't decide whether to push them all to one side and then use the space for something or just have it in the middle. I'm really starting to flag. It's currently 3.30 and I think I need a musical boost because my energy has dropped. I'm doing well though. I got these headphones. Well, actually I didn't get them. My boyfriend family got them for me. Now I can't hear. For Christmas and I've been loving them. I just think the funniest thing is that sometimes I'm around the house when I do chores and I have my headphones on. My boyfriend must just hear, just occasionally I just will sing and he must just hear me, nothing else, and then me just singing like one word. So bizarre. Welcome to my closet. 
I have officially finished and I feel so tired, but let's just do this tour because you know I put in this hard work, you guys have got to appreciate it. So over here we have the beautiful coat. Well, actually, I don't feel like it's that beautiful actually because it's basically just black coat. Anyhow, I've got my big teddy, teddy coat, my snowboarding jacket, a grey jacket that's just for every day, and then like leather jacket, blah, 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 blah. Down here, I've got all of my handbags in this basket, and then also in this basket. Down the floor, this is the thing that's going to revolutionise my life, I think, because everything was just such a mess here. And now, it is glorious, beautiful. All of my dresses, jumpers, shirts. Then down here is sort of thinner jumpers that couldn't fit anywhere else. I just put them in this little box here. The top drawer I said before is my underwear, so obviously <laughs> not gonna show you that. In this drawer I have all of my gym stuff. I'm a little bit ashamed at how much gym stuff I have. The problem I have is that most of it is black, but I've got my sports bras, my sports shorts, my sports leggings 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 in the bottom drawer i've got all of my t-shirts tank top and my pajamas just a bit rogue in there anyhow final of it all of my jeans no wait what all of my trousers skirts and then a couple of hoodies and that's it my friends that was a mission and a half i'm so sorry i keep saying it but the lighting in that cupboard is absolute absolute trash on a stick but anyway, I hope you've got the picture of what it looks like. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Like this video if you like this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.